this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Rhapsody, a musical adventure! Rawr! Look at me! I'm evil! For boss time against the centaur! Okay, so for the bulk of my damage here, I'm going to be using Flames of Hell, because all of them are going to be weak to it. Let's put our new Giga Holy spell to use to damage all of them as well. And with Terra, I could use Mega Sleep on them to crowd control the Venom Toads, but they're not very threatening on their own. So I'm just going to go with Meteor and then have Albatross use Fairy Fire on the Centaur there. I might have him use Fairy Fire on the Venom Toads, depending on how the battle goes. But ideally, I won't have to do that. Uh, yeah, Flames of Hell, Giga Holy, Meteor, that should deal the bulk of our damage for that. And, and then, let's see. Yeah, the Tentar's got a really powerful physical attack. Not to mention the spells it has, too. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just keep on going with more Flames of Hell, Giga Holy, and the only one I need to heal is Cornet. So, yeah, let's just heal her up with a little item there. And, yeah, just keep on going. I should be able to get the Venom Toads in the next round at this rate. I like how the centaur, like you would think, a centaur would be, well, half human, half horse, right? Well, since it's the guardian of this place, and, well, this is where all the frogs are from, yeah, it's, I guess it's like half frog, half centaur, something like that. Nice attention to detail there, though. I didn't realize that until, like, today. I've played the game, like, five times already, and I never caught on to that. I thought it was just, you know, a freaky-looking centaur, something like that. Let's see, one more. Yes, okay. Now, the centaur is still a pretty big threat. You could use Happy Horn to protect against that. But, yeah, the centaur does not use G-Laser that often. If it does, then you want to use Angel Horn there to heal up the entire party. Or Angel's Horn, there, whatever it's called. But, yeah, it's just better to do that than to sit around with Happy Horn, because, yeah, as you can see, the centaur does not use it that often, unlike one of the practice sessions I did before this, where it cast it, like, four times in a row, for some godforsaken reason. But, yeah, usually it doesn't do it that often. But, if I need some extra healing, I could also have shards join in with heal all, but... Well, that wasn't necessary here. Hooray! Well, that was easy. Why are we giving it to him? We're the ones who need the Earth Stone. But all right, let's just get on out of here and return with the good news. And the Earth Stone. I don't even know what they want the Earth Stone for. Maybe just like a proof of courage or something? Like a rat tail or something? I don't know. And let's see. No, it's not that guy. Ah, there we go. So yeah, the bedrooms are empty there. And if you go to the east tower, the one of the frogs there would tell you the same thing, except from the king. Oh, yeah, so we did. Aww. Well, good for you guys. Oh, well, he didn't really do a whole lot, but we can pretend and give him all the credit. Well, then, a happy ending after all. Or... Ah, okay, so... What do you mean? Well, you were the one who told us to. Or at least the, the minister did, or whatever. Not really much of a guardian. 
No, I don't think so. I think you're just being an asshole. Dude? Well, that was pointless. Well, good. Well, hey, where do you think you guys are going? Don't I get to kick their ass? Or the king or something? Oh, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, like being brutally murdered like that? Well then. So, if you were just going to kill him anyway, why did you even bother sending him to get the Earth Stone? Yeah, evidently not. What the hell, man? But he's kind of dead. That's just creepy. Well, I thought this is, you know, how the place was run, you know? Besides, I was out of SP. Almost out of SP. Yeah, maybe I should have healed up before going in there. Well, everyone seems to be okay with this, evidently. Yeah. Or at least no one's doing anything about it. Well, let's see what the king has to say for himself. But the king could have just given him noble status anyway. So, what's the point? Well, he's not dead! Well, if he's sad, maybe he should have thought about that before murdering the guy. No, you're a king! You can do whatever you want! No one else would have cared. But, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm more bothered by the fact that no one else seems to care about any of this. Well, then you wouldn't do anything for her, would you? No, not really. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Uh, that's very nice of you. A little late now. Uh, let's see. Oh, wait, that guy did have something new to say. Oh. Well, that sounds like a really bad idea. I mean, if you keep executing people for minor, minor crimes, you know, they're gonna revolt against you sooner or later. They got nothing to lose. No, not really. But all right, I guess Port Gamma left, or... Huh? I thought this was... I thought he left. Well, no, he didn't. Well, he did, but... Well, that's the minister there, and... I think he just has the same sprite as Port Gamma for some reason. Oh, really? Well, I would think they would have been human, but however it works. Well, he's evidently not very good with the ladies. What do you mean she's missing? She was just at the castle a moment ago. Well, you kind of can't make people fall in love with you like that. Oh, really? Why would she go there? 
I don't know. I mean, we'll take a look, but... Yeah, that sounded like a really bad idea on his part. But, okay. And, let's see. Okay, so... Well, yeah, we got the Earth Stone, so... That's pretty much it. That's a pretty abrupt ending to the whole Frogberg storyline, but okay. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, I want to get a little more agility there for Shart. I want everyone to have, well, as many people as possible, to have n at least 95 speed where we're going next. And if you haven't bought the second... Uh, what was it? The second genius cap. You should do that now. Usually I don't have the money until now. So, let's see. Yeah, let's go back to Mother Green. I need to heal up and restock on teleporters anyway before heading out and seeing what's going on with Caroline. And... Oh, okay. I thought I had didn't have as many of those there. Well, alright. So, yeah. Next... Well, the only... We got two of the stones to look out for, but let's see how the boss fights would have gone in the PS1 version of the game now. Okay, we're back in the PS1 version of the game, and I've already cleared out most of the treasure from the Temple of Gamma, but there's one of them that's different in this version, so let's check it out. Okay, so if you go over here, we get another illustration to check out there. Let's see. There you go. Number... It was number six, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Eh, nice little drawing they got there. I wish they had more things like that in... Well, video games in general, but, you know, RPGs or whatever. Just st fun stuff like that. Although, so I've seen some games where they're... They have something like that, but it's not like an item you find in the game. It's like an options menu or something you could check out like that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, why don't we heal up? It's not very much, but better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so let's see. As far as my setup goes, we got the Dragon's Claw on Cornette there to boost her attack. And the Defense Robes to help protect her a bit. Let's see, with Elkoon there, I've got him with the Holy Charm now, because his MB is lagging way behind Shark, so he could use the help there. Let's see, Kid, yeah, he's doing the same as ever, but I want him to have a little bit more speed with the Sonic Shoes there. And let's see, Shark, yeah, pretty much same as ever, although I gave her the cat's paws. I don't think I'll use her for physical attacks very much, but well, I guess it depends on the situation. For boss time against Albatross. Okay, so let's start buffing up. I'm still... or Yeah, I still need to rebuild my uh, what was it? Appreciation gauge after I used Pancake there recently. Okay, let's see. So, yeah, you're not in range, so not much you can do there. But yeah, you notice when Albatross attacked, he could attack from range. So, I think he's the only other character that can attack from range besides Tell. I actually used him for that in my first playthrough of the PS1 version because I didn't know Tell existed. Oh, nice. Yeah, once you get up to 50 kills, you get up to skill level 3. And that is pretty much as high as I'm going to be getting on my skill levels. I mean, you could still, I think you could still get more skill levels, but there's not going to be enough enemies remaining in the game for me to actually get my skill levels that high. So, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay, so let's see. 
So yeah, once I get up to skill level three, I'm just gonna cut loose, let everyone you know, do whatever I need to do to get the job done. Hmm, for some reason the centaur seems smaller than in the DS version. For boss time! Well, he doesn't represent as much of a threat, although he still has G-Laser, so you want to watch out for that. Let's see, let's go right there. Uh, also, don't worry about spreading out your party members, perhaps, to avoid G-Laser. I don't know what its range is, but it seems like it's infinite. <laughs> it's just, yeah, you're not going to be able to spread out your party members far enough in order to... Yeah, get the job done. Okay, so, yeah, the Venom Toads have a lot less HP than in the DS version of the game. Hmm. I could move up here and cast Holy, but I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, why don't I hang back a little bit there? Yeah, we'll go like that. The Venom Toads, yeah, they won't be able to get in range anyway. I want to give as many kills as I can to El Coon there. Preferably the two from the... Uh, what was that? Or, yeah, the two Venom Toads there. Okay, so, let's see. Get in a good hit there. And I'm going to move up here. Hmm. Okay, if I go with Storm, that should at least kill one of the Venom Toads there. Nice. And, yeah, let's just keep it like that. Hmm. Maybe I can soften up the centaur there. Yeah, not bad damage on the physical attacks there. Eventually, I want to surround the centaur so that way it can't do what it's about to do. Hmm. Okay, well, I can use a kill myself. So, yeah, why not go for that? It is kind of hard to get all my party members into position to surround an enemy there. I might need to do a little bit of healing. Let's see how we're looking, though. Mm, Kid is a little light. But I think... Well, I'm not going to deal much damage with my physical attack this round anyway. So might as well just heal up. Because I didn't uh, well, buff up my party this round. Okay, let's see. Yeah, why don't we uh, buff up there now? And yeah, let's try to cut it off, prevent it from escaping there. And I'll probably just have Shart heal up a bit. Now well, we've almost got the guy. Let's see, how are you looking there? Hmm. You know what, why don't we go with the heal all this time? So it doesn't have infinite range, but it does heal anyone who is for a hundred there. Okay, let's see, I think one more round ought to get the job done. Especially with Kid working on the kills there. And let's see, well, maybe El Coon can get the kill. There you go! Oh, they don't even tell you who gets the skill level ups, huh? Well then. But yeah, that's I would I think that's El Coon and Cornette there, so. Yeah, I guess we're good to go then. Got the Earth Stone. What is Caroline doing with Michael's body? Find out next time on Let's Play Rhapsody a Musical Adventure. This is a Chi Bailey signing off. Have a good day!